uh, we send the word and we heal them. We pray for all of those that are watching and, and uh, around the world. My friend, uh, Pastor Henry in Liberia, we bless you. Pastor Mike in Uganda, we bless you. All the pastors in India and, and those in Michigan and those in Texas and those all around the world that are watching this broadcast live or watching it on YouTube, we bless you. I pray that God will break every chain, every cord, every fetter, every snare of the enemy in your life this morning. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, 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 amen. I want to uh, uh, remind those, oh, before we even get started, we're in uh, Rosh Hashanah, which will, I'm going to blow the shofar, amen. Let's blow the shofar. Our new year is coming in now. We blow the shofar to acknowledge uh, a change is coming. Yes. One more. Hallelujah. Praise God. All things will become new. And old things are passing away. So forget about 2021. We're in 2022. So y'all can stay back there in 21. We're moving on into the new. Because I said this is a decade of change. This is a decade of a roller coaster. It's a decade of, of uh, uh, we call it like the Roaring Twenties back in 1920. They had the Roaring Twenties. They had prohibition. They had gang warfare. They had drugs. They had alcohol prohibition. They had everybody speak easy. Everybody was partying. And then the stock market fell in, in, at the end of the, that decade. <clears throat> and so we're in an exciting time, hallelujah, of the kingdom of God. Uh, I want to remind those that this time last year in August, I did an eight part series on breaking the, destroying the tree of rejection. Remember, I, I did a, I put the thing up on rejection, and, we, and I did eight weeks of teaching on all the different spirits under the tree of rejection. And so you can go to the YouTube page, uh, Albert Buford at YouTube, breaking the snares of the enemy and the traps of the enemy and breaking the uh, tree of rejection. So get that series because Everything about deliverance is in those eight tape series. And uh, there's a lot of prayer and different things in there that you get revelation of. As I said last week, the two of the greatest things I get texts and, and emails from are people bound by lust <coughs> or witchcraft or schizophrenic and they got some kind of mental illness going on or, or new age spirit. So uh, avail yourself to the teaching. Amen. Because you don't know what's going to happen in the end. The way they're shooting, you may not have a book to read. So I got it on YouTube or uh, video or tape so you can get it for those of you going to be left here. Amen. You'll have some teaching to get free. So I want to deal with removing the chains, the cords, the bindings, and the claws of lust spirits. Amen. Uh, uh, God is going through the church. There's a lot of ministers that have been bound by this spirit. We had ministers die because of these spirits. So they to get in there. Every great man in the Bible that you read about all of them had problems with sexual sin, Amen. with lust. Amen. Only one that got through was Jesus. The rest of them, Moses failed, David failed, all of them failed. Solomon failed. Solomon had so many wives, he didn't know what to do. David, <laughs> they were so full of lust. Solomon, Solomon, all the wisdom in the world, but yet he was bound by lust and destroyed. Amen. So we're going to start in 1 John. If you have your Bibles, you want to take notes, I'm going to go kind of quick. Because I got a lot to cover this morning, and I'm going to get it all in. So bear with me. First John 2, 15 to 17 says, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. For if any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world are the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. It's in this world. When you go to heaven, it ain't in heaven because you don't have any sexual organs or anything, no fleshly organs in heaven. Amen? Amen. So you don't have to worry about that in heaven. But here on earth, it's here. Amen. The Lord passeth away, the world passeth away, the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will abide it forever. So the lust of the eyes, which means personal, everybody's worried about their personal appearance, your possessions, pornography, Provocative dressing, lust of the flesh, uh, sarcasm, sexual uh, pleasure, drugs, food, sex, work. These are works of the flesh. Pride. pride. Under pride, there's a stronghold of power, money, 
position and control or controlling people. And so we, we in America, it's pride. You know, all these politicians got pride. They got power and money. They go into and politics broke, come out millionaires. Amen. There are three types of love I've ministered on this for. Phileo, which is friendship. Agape, which is God love. And eros, which is lust. He said, Peter, do you love me? Are you my, do you love me? Do you agape me? Feed my sheep. Peter, do you love me? Yeah, Lord, you know I love you. Do you agape me? No, Lord, you know I'm filet you. You're my friend. No. Peter, do you agape, do you love me? And he got shame. So, lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, and pride of life. The enemy always comes in those three packages. He just changes the bow on them to get you hooked. Some kind of, he'll give you lust of the ass. It's of the world, so it's going to come. James 1.12 says, Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord promised to him that love him. Let no man say, I'm tempted. I am tempted of God. Because God said, I don't tempt you. For God cannot be tempted with evil. Neither tempted he any man. So the Lord, Lord, you know, why you tempting me, Lord, with this woman? Why you The Lord said, I ain't got nothing to do with that. That's your big ass. So Joseph had to flee. He had to, I mean, he was, the, the, the spirit of seduction was after him. And he said, I cannot sin against the Lord. He made a choice. So we had to make a choice whether we're going to get into lust or sexual sin. It's a choice. God ain't making you. Now I'm going to deal with some stuff that the enemy has lied to you about to uh, get you free. So ain't no kids here this morning, so we'll do some adult stuff. Beware of seducing spirits. He said, but when he is, man is drawn away, he is drawn away of his own lust. You got your own lust. Yep. Nobody else's, you got your own. Right. Then when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin. Mm -hmm. And sin, when it finished, bringeth forth death. So you got to be aware of these spirits because when you get into that realm, there are other spirits that work with lust to bind you up with infirmity, with STDs, with gonorrhea, with all kind of crazy stuff, and we'll share about that. Now the word lust is the word epithumia, which means to long, especially for something that is forbidden. It is forbidden. Demons will enter in through sexual unions if it's a fornication is not of God, they enter into your sexual organs, your kidneys, your liver, tongue, throat, your jaws, the neck, the heart, the nerve tissues. These spirits, once they get in, they drive you and cause do, you to have a burning, lustful desire. It ain't you. It's a spirit that gives you that desire. Amen. Addictions, pornography, drugs. Disloyalty comes, scheming starts coming, becoming sneaky. How can I get, me, get over on this woman? How can I get over on this man? How can I get the rape, incest? We talked about Amnon, Amnon and Tamar where he said he loved her and then he found out he, he had lusted for her. And when, that, when he raped her, that spirit of lust in him left and he hated her. Because it wasn't love in him. It wasn't agape. It was lust in him. So lust drives us to do crazy stuff. And it binds us up. So it's something that is forbidden, or especially that is forbidden. 1 Corinthians, I'm going to go through these scriptures. 1 Corinthians 6, 15. says, do you not see or know that your body are members, bodily parts of Christ? When you become born again, you're part of Christ. He said, am I therefore to take the parts of Christ and make them parts of a prostitute? Hmm. Am I to hook up with a prostitute? Now nah, I got Christ in me. I'm going to take him to the brothel. Okay. Or do you not know and realize that when a man joins himself, here it is, to a prostitute, he becomes one body with her? So if she got STDs, just what you get. Two, it is written, shall become one flesh. But the person united with the Lord becomes one spirit with him. Now, it, it, it's here in America and in other countries, and especially in Africa, they do charms and things. These prostitutes, 
They collect the sperm from the guy. They go to the witch doctor. He says incantation over it. And all of a sudden, this guy is now giving that prostitute all his money, his car, taking care of her. He don't even know, and she's ugly. And, he, and, and, and he's doing all that stuff for her, and he don't even know why he's doing it because she didn't do the incantation over him. She has stolen his destiny because she got all of his sperm or his life. Amen. Put it in a bottle, bind it up, tied it up, and now... Two, the second thing they do is these spirits, once you go into a prostitute, these spirits come into his manhood where he can never get an erection again. I'm telling you, this is demonic stuff that gets into your, into your sex organs and they, they bind you up. Lust will steal your manhood. A lot of people run around there on TV got ED, erectional dysfunction. Go check and see who you've been with. See who you had adultery with. Because these spirits will block, get into those sexual organs, and block the desire. Uh -huh. right. Or do the reverse in women and cause her to be a nymphomaniac. Mm -hmm. These lust spirits get in that burning inside. I, got, I, got, I can't stop. It's just insatiable. Or like some of these, I've seen some of them on, on TV. They go to the doctor and they, and they have, there's, there's several women that have constant orgasms all day long. These are demons that get in and constantly, it, the devil don't want you to die. He wants to torment you. They want to be tormented. Proverbs 6, 25, 26 says, do not lust in your heart. Talking about after a loose woman, after her beauty. Or let her captivate you with her eyes. Women can blink them eyeballs and got them big old eyelashes on it. And they know how to seduce a man real quick. For the prostitute reduces you to a loaf of bread. A loaf of bread. She got you coming in the front door and Jody going out the back door. Amen. You paying for her rent, paying for electricity, paying for that, and she's just paying the game on you. Now, this is a loose woman. This is not a righteous woman. He said, and the adulteress preys upon your very life. Adulteress is someone that looks for a, 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 a married person because they don't have to make a commitment to them. And so there's no commitment. If, I'm, if I look for a married person, well, you can't, I can't marry you, and you, you already got a husband, or you already got a wife, and uh, I'm not committed to you. We're just getting it on. But he says, an adulteress preys on your very life because sooner or later that husband's going to catch you. Then your life is gone. <laughs> Hallelujah. Better leave that man and wife alone. Adultery is, look at Matthew uh, 5, 27, 28. He says, he said, you ever heard it said of the old time, thou shalt not commit adultery. But I say unto you that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her has already committed adultery with her in, her, in his heart. So the spirit is already there. It's in your eyes. The lust in your eyes. 1 Corinthians 7, 28. Two says, but because of the temptation to impurity, but of the of, but because of the temptation to impurity and to avoid immorality, let each man have his own wife, not somebody else's, your own wife, and let each woman have her own husband. Amen. Put your eyes on your own plate, not on my plate. Get it on your plate, because it opens up a door. It opens up the, the adultery and fornication. Opens up the door for idolatry and uh, uh, the curse of lust. Mm -hmm. And adultery causes prostitution in your bloodline. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm giving you a wake up now. So you better ask your parents what they were doing before you got say. Look at Hosea 4, verse 13 and 14. He, says they, he said, they, the Israelites, sacrificed on the tops of mountains. They burned incense upon the hills under oaks, poplars, terabiths. Because there the shade is good. Therefore your daughters play the harlot and your sons' wives commit adultery. God said, Israel, because you are in idolatry and you're sacrificing to demons and you worship in these spirits. He said, your daughters play the harlot on the street or whore or prostitute and your sons' wives commit adultery. He said, I'm not going to punish your daughters. When they stray, when they play the harlot, nor your daughters-in-law, when they commit adultery. 
for the fathers and the husbands themselves go aside in order to be alone with women who are prostitute themselves for gain. So God says, if the husband is out there in the street doing dirt, the curse is coming on his daughter and daughter-in-law, and they're going to be out there in the street doing dirt. And they shall sacrifice at the altar with dedicated, that is dedicated to harlots, who surrender their chastity in honor of the goddess. Therefore, the people without understanding shall stumble and fall and come to ruin. God had blessed Israel. Balaam came, Balak came to Balaam and said, curse Israel. I want you to curse them. We've been trying to beat them. We're trying to destroy them. And every time Balaam said, come on the mountain and curse them, he opened up his mouth and he started blessing. He said, oh, bless them. I see the multitude of sanity. He said, no, nah, I want you to curse them. He said, I can't do whatever the Lord tell me to do. And he take, well, come over on this mountain. I'm going to give you all this gold and silver. Curse them. And he kept blessing them. He said, well, how in the world am I going to beat them? He said, you got to get them in the sexual sin. If you get them in the sexual sin, God will curse them. If you get them into, so they got, they got them into the temples, they got them into the harlots, and Israel went poop that quick, right down. So we got to understand that it opens up the curse. Lust, the curse of lust comes from adultery, prostitution, fornication. Lust spirits enter into this divorce, are, are, are in the divorce process. Matthew 19, verse, 20, uh, verse 3, Matthew 19, verse 3 says, the Pharisees came to him, and put him to the test, asking, is it lawful and right to dismiss or repudiate the divorce and divorce one's wife for any and every cause? He replied, have you not read that he who made them from the beginning made them male and female? And said, for this reason shall a man leave his father and his mother and be united firmly, join him separately, cleave to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. God said, they shall cleave or become one flesh. That word cleave is the same thing as when you make a, 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 a heat up a piece of metal and you solder it and it is joined together. You cannot break that joint. If you try to pull that wire off that thing, the tip of the, the joint where you soldered it will stay and the wire will break. That's the covenant of God. God said it is a covenant and when you stay in that and when they come together as husband and wife, it's a covenant. And so in the Bible says in end times, there are going to be covenant breakers, which is adultery. And so the covenant is very important. So I tell people, uh, once you get into adultery and you get into sexual sin, it's very hard unless the Holy Spirit gets into that relationship and restores and brings reconciliation for that relationship to stand. Amen. Because there is no foundation. You destroyed the covenant. The Amen. covenant has been broken. It's very hard unless God tells you and, and helps you get back together. It ain't going to work. Amen. So question, man, who are you releasing life to? Men create life through sperm. Satan cannot create life. That's why he's fighting the men so hard to be head of the family because he hates men because he, they can, man is the only one that can create life. The Zoe life of God, God made. He said, I'm, taking, he said I'm, I'm, I'm sending you out of the spirit realm. I'm taking you out of me. You are spirit being taken out of God. He said, I'm created a system where I'll bring you into the earth where I'll give you a fleshly body and that fleshly body you can procreate and bring forth children and when that sperm hits the egg I will take another soul out of me and put it into that egg and you guys can be in the earth realm and have a fleshly body and enjoy all the blessings of the Lord in, the, in, in, in that realm and so the enemy wants to break that curse let me go on let me go on let me go on he said, Matthew verse 19, 6, he said, so there are no longer two, but one flesh. What therefore God has joined together, let not man put asunder or separate. Keep your mama and in-laws and everybody out of your marriage. Amen. Keep them out of your relationship. Amen. Keep them, even your kids, Amen. keep them out of your relationship. Amen. Don't let the kids play one against the other. Amen. They said unto him, why did Moses command us to give a certificate of divorce and thus dismiss or repudiate the wife? If he didn't want us to have it, and he said to him, because of the hardness of your heart, the stubbornness and perversity in your heart, Moses permitted you to dismiss and repudiate and divorce your wives from the beginning. It was not been so ordained. He said, Moses got so tired of y'all. 
that you're hard-hearted, hard-headed, don't want to do right. He just said, forget it. You know, Moses, you know, they tested Moses. Moses missed out on the blessing because they, he messing with them old crazy folks. Arguing with God. They're your people. No, they ain't my people. They're your people. You don't want to call them people. I don't want them people. Moses is biting the rock and hitting, hitting everybody and want to cuss everybody out. <laughs> he got mad. His father-in-law had to come. Hey, Moses, what you doing ain't good. Listen to all this mess coming in every day. You ain't Put some elders over, the, over these small matters and stuff. The big matters you handle. Hey, Amen. Don't get involved in all this fleshly stuff and carnal stuff. She took my clothes off the line. And, amen. He stole my sheep. He got my goat. Amen. Just crazy stuff. I ain't got time for y'all. 1 Corinthians 8, 6, 18 says, Shun immorality and all sexual looseness, Christian. Flee from impurity in thought. You got to cast down reasoning. You got to cast them thoughts down. Flee from impurity in thought, word, and deed. Get up from that table and all them guys around the table talking about women and cussing and, 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 and saying all them lustful things. Get up and walk away. Right. You'd have to laugh and giggling with them. Get out. Right. Any other sin which man commits. See, God makes a way out for you. You're just making excuses. Just Amen. do what you're doing. Any other sin which man commits is one outside the body. <laughs> Holy Spirit said they're getting mad out there. They're listening to you. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Help me, Holy Ghost. That's okay, Lord. I'm going to go on. <laughs> Any other sin which man commits outside the body. But he who commits sexual immorality sins against his own body. Amen. You the one with the STD. You the one that got sexual problems. You the one that's impotent now. You got all the infections and stuff like that because of immorality. <laughs> Matthew 19.9 says, I say to you. Whoever dismisses or divorces his wife except for unchastity, except for fornication, and marries another commits adultery. For he that marries a, a divorced woman commits adultery. In other words, he said, if you marry somebody else because of fornication, you brought a curse on the covenant. The disciples said to him, if the case of a man with his wife is like this, is it neither profitable nor advisable to marry? Yeah. He said unto them, Not all men can accept this saying. But it is for those whom the capacity to receive it has been given. Verse 12. He says, For there are eunuchs who have been born incapable of marriage. And there are eunuchs who have been made so by men, they cut off their stuff, and there are eunuchs that have been made themselves incapable of marriage for the sake of the kingdom. Let him who is able to accept this, accept this. Some people are set aside by God to not have, not married and not be here. Anna was in the temple all her life. Simeon was in the temple all his life. Some of them didn't marry because they were looking for the consolation of the Son of God. They prayed, and that's all they did. It was a, they were assigned to the kingdom of God. They made a choice for the kingdom of God. Some are done, made eunuchs by choice. Eunuchs enter into the kingdom of heaven if they believe in Jesus Christ and, and believe him as Lord. Thank God for the eunuchs. They the one that threw Jezebel out on her fat face. Amen. You hear that, Jezebel? They threw you out of the window. <laughs> I like torment that spirit. They threw you out of the window. On your fat face. Amen. Out of your makeup face with all that rouge and makeup and eyelashes and all that lipstick. They threw you out the window. It is coming again. Hallelujah. The prophets are after you. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Eunuch was baptized in the kingdom by Philip. Remember Philip was on the road and the eunuch was uh, of the king of sheep was eunuch came by and he was looking at the scriptures and Philip expounded the scriptures to him and he said, what would forbid me to be baptized right here? And he was baptized and then Philip was translated, pew, time travel to another city, supernaturally. Anybody ever time travel? I have. You time travel. We were going down to Atlanta one time. All night, driving all night. And I said, well, we got about two more hours until we get to outside Atlanta. Next thing you know, I was outside Atlanta. It just, 
it was foggy and stuff out in the fog. It was kind of foggy in the morning and stuff like that. And we were driving along. And I said, how did we get here this quick? God just moved the car. Time, you we were there. Wife was asleep. I think she was down there asleep. She's probably remember. I remember it. I was <laughs> translated. That's, that's shotgun. You know how the shotgun riders, they don't even keep up with you. They, it will be keeping me up. I'm driving. Do you not know, don't you know that your body is the temple of the very sanctuary of the Holy Spirit who lives in you, whom you have received as a gift from God? You're not your own. You signed up. Salvation Army. You're in a part of the army now. You were brought with a price purchased with the precious blood and paid for, made his own. So then, honor God. Bring glory to him in your body. Don't mess around with this body that belongs to God. Don't take him to the club. He don't belong in the club. Other door is pornography. This is why a lot of these guys, these young men are calling me and saying, I got bound up with lust. Pornography. I, I shared the testimony of a, of a guy from uh, last week. All the spirits that were in him, tormenting him, choking him, binding him, crawling all around him. Pornography is rooted in fantasy. Unreal expectations. Pornography means the depiction on erotic behavior as in pictures or writings. That's pornography. It is intended to cause sex incitement. It is addictive. It destroys marriages. It decreases physical desire in men. It sears images into the male mind. Uh, you're looking at airbrush pictures and stuff that people don't even look like what they <laughs> look at. They're showing you all unrealistic position. You try something, you'll break your hip. <laughs> break your leg. You'll be swinging off no chandelier and all that crazy stuff. That ain't even real. Just, and they put this fantasy in their mind, and then they, they go to his wife and wife and say, what in the world? <laughs> you better get out of here. It addiction. It changes the image. Look at this. This she thinks she's cute. Lust brings and drugs release a spirit of burning and scarring. Look at somebody on crack and look at their features, how weathered and worn out and teeth all falling out. And look at an alcoholic, his eyes are red and the lips are red and burned and black spots all on their lips and 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 and, and, and they're, they're drawn and worn out and look like they're 80 years old and they're only 22. Amen. This is what these spirits do. Lust spirits come in and they change your physical body. The spirit of burning. You say, well, where the spirit of burning comes? Isaiah 4 and 4. It said, the Lord shall have washed away the filth of the daughters of Zion and shall have purged the blood of Jerusalem from the midst thereof by the spirit of judgment, which is on America right now, on the earth right now, and the spirit of burning. Burning means to set on fire. Uh, it means brutish. The person is brutish. It means to cause to eat up. It, it means to be heated. That, that, that when you take that cocaine and you take that marijuana, you're, 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 you're eating up on the inside. You're heated up on the inside. You become brutish. You become uh, 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 uncontrollable. You, we got to watch you in the coming house. You'll be stealing microwaves and TVs and stuff to get your fix. You'll be doing all kind of crazy stuff. I mean, stealing cars and all kind of crazy stuff. It means to set on fire. Your, 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 your desires are set on fire. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 3.24. It shall come to pass instead of, here, instead of a sweet smell. Now he's talking about Israel. If you read Isaiah 3, it talks about the pride of Israel. It's talking about the spirit of pride on, on, on the women of Israel. Instead of a sweet smell, there shall be a stink. No deodorant is going to help you. Instead of a girdle and a rent, instead of a well set of hair, baldness. Alopecia and all that, your hair patches are falling out of your hair. Instead of a stomacher and a girding of sackcloth and burning instead of beauty. Burning instead of beauty. The word burning means a scar, a brand. 
You're branded. We know who you are. Amen. We can just look at you. Oh, you don't crack. You, you <laughs> we can tell you alcoholic. You, you, the brand is on you. That spirit is on you. Here's another door from lust. Do you know that greed and gluttony is under lust? Psalm 78, 18 and 19. He said they tempted their God in their heart asking meat not for their nourishment, for their lust. For their lust. God was trying to, God said, I'm giving you manna. I'm, I'm feeding you manna in the morning. Just take enough for you and your family. And every morning you get up, you're, I'm feeding you in the wilderness and stuff. I want some meat. I'm tired of this meat. I don't want this manna. Oatmeal in the morning, oatmeal at noontime, oatmeal at supper time. Tired as oatmeal. Amen. Oatmeal, oatmeal, oatmeal. You grew up what I did in the 50s. That's what we, they gave us on, the, on that Amen. subsistence. You had oatmeal, that big old box of oat, Quaker, oat, big old box. It wasn't Quaker. It was a white box with a white label on it, but a big box. What we having for dinner? Oatmeal. Oatmeal. Oatmeal with jet butter. Oatmeal with some syrup. Oatmeal with some... <laughs> You're tired of oatmeal, but you ate what you had. Philippians 3.18. For many walk, of whom I have to often told you, and now tell you weeping, that they are enemies of the cross of Christ, whose end is destruction, whose God is their belly, whose glory is their shame, whose mind is earthly. Gluttony people, as you go back on that tape I did on, on, on rejection, people that have been molested or raped, they get overweight because they say, if I'm too fat, nobody will want me, nobody will rape me, nobody will molest me. And so they start eating because of rejection. They start eating because of the pain on the inside, and they just overdo it. He said that God, the spirit of gluttony is their God. Opioids, marijuana, alcohol are all driven by lust spirits. Hear me. When people come in for prayer and they say, well, well, he's got alcohol problem. No, he's got a lust problem. Right. He would rather have lust for that alcohol than love you and take care of the family. Amen. Philippians 3, 18, 19. For many walk, of whom I've told you often, now tell you even weeping, that they are enemies of the cross, whose end is destruction, whose God is their belly, and whose glory is in their shame, who mind earthly things. Out there begging for food, but still smoking that crack. Just, uh, if you go to San Francisco, it is bad. I was just saying, saw the, on TV, the news on TV. It is really bad. Folks downtown, they, they're just all of them on crack. You say you can get crack in two and a half minutes. You can get a fix right on the street, right there. They're sleeping on the street, on the sidewalks. And you got a, Speaker of the house that's over that state, mm -hmm. destroying it. Mm -hmm. Lust is so bad. Uh, the lust for drugs and stuff is so bad, it causes confusion. It causes neglect of the family. It causes prostitution and whoredom. I was watching a young girl in South Africa. She's a, she take care of her kids during the day, but at night she put on her prostitute clothes to go out and make money for her kids. Amen. They get high before they go out and prostitute. Psalms 81.12, so I gave them up to their own heart's lust. They walk in their own counsels. The mind snaps to where your children are not really that important to you. You got to get that fixed. You got to get that drug. You got to make that money. The lust spirit causes confusion in the family. It causes you to neglect your children. They're out there in the street. Uh, the the Social services come take the kids. I want to get my kids back. Well, get off the street. I can't get off the street. Just crazy. Going to jail, in and out of jail, all kind of, of, of sin. Fornication. Some people, I've run across people don't even know what fornication means. Fornication means having sex and not being married. That's what it is. Don't get it twisted. Proverbs 6.23. For, for, for the commandment of the, is a lamp. And the law is light. And reproofs and instruction are the way of life. The word will keep you from the evil women. There are evil women out there, Amen. young man, from the flattery of tongue of a strange woman. Women can rap just as much as a man can rap. Amen? Sometimes even better. And they can fight just like a man can fight. Lust not after her beauty in your heart. Neither let her take it with her eyelids, for by means a whorish woman, 
A whorish woman, a man is brought to a piece of bread. As I said, the adulterers will hunt for pre precious life. They come after you. Uncleanness is the other door. The lust comes in. Oral sex, anal sex, and masturbation. All of these things are from Romans 124. Wherefore God gave them up to the uncleanness through their own lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between their own selves. I, I was listening to a doctor last night uh, in Trinidad sharing about that they changed even that HIV thing came from a lab. They created it to change the DNA. It attacks certain men. Oh. All this stuff is still created. The shots that we used to get with your scar you got on our arm and from polio and all that stuff, those were diseases. The stuff we got now are created by man. And they're trying to create vaccines for you to shoot you up with this graphite and graphene and all this crazy stuff. They've, it's a billion dollar industry. The man was telling me, he said, listen, they got labs in, in America, they got labs all over there paying these scientists to create gene warfare. Bio, gene warfare is the warfare that they're I prophesied this about 25 years ago. I said there's going to come a warfare that is going to be internal. It's going to be nanobites, nanites, and stuff, uh, 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 it, uh, little things created by man to destroy man. It won't be bombs and missiles and guns. It's going to be internal. 2 Timothy 3.2, for men shall be lovers of their own selves. That's where masturbation comes in. Lovers of their own selves. Covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, and unholy. So he already said this is a sign of the end times. Lovers of their own selves. That comes out of the pride tree, part of pride uh, uh, the, the tree. Bestiality is another. I pray for people with bestiality. They, they literally manifest animal spirits. Bark like a dog. Neigh like a horse. Act like a gorilla. These, spirit, these are demons in the spirit realm. Leviticus 18.20, Neither shall thou lie with any beast to defile thyself therewith. Neither shall any woman stand before a beast to lie down there to it. It is confusion. They both shall be put to death. Jeremiah 3.25, We lie down in our shame. Our confusion covers us. We have sinned against the Lord our God, we and our fathers, from our youth even to this day. We have not obeyed the voice of the Lord our God. Now, if the wisest man in the earth can fall to this trap, how much more will you fall into this trap without the Holy Ghost? At least we got the Holy Ghost to help us. Now, Solomon didn't have the Holy Ghost. We got the Holy Ghost in, in our temples, and if we keep it clean, he'll stay there. Amen. Don't nobody want to live in no nasty house. You don't want to live in no nasty house. Amen. Well, the Holy Ghost don't want to live in no nasty temple either. Right. Clean your temple up. Amen. Crucify your flesh. Get rid of them. Cast down reasoning. Cast down a lust, and we'll get rid of lust. I'm going to pray for you in a minute, in a few minutes. Lust means have, is cause you to be impure, foul, and demonic. Luke 11, 24, when the unclean spirit goes out of a man. Listen, when the unclean spirit goes out, he walketh through dry places seeking rest. He findeth none. He said, I will return to my house. Now, the Holy Spirit is, is, uh, we lives in this temple, but the devil said, I'm going to live in there first. I'm going to live in there too. Hence, I came out. And when he comes, he findeth garnished. Then he goeth, taketh him seven other spirits more wicked than himself, and they enter in and dwell therein, and the last state of the man is worse than the first. That's how you backslide. You get free, but then you go back. Seven other spirits enter in this time to make it harder for you to get back to the house of God. It becomes more difficult. After two or three weeks, you, threw, you pretty much backslid. That's how quickly you can backslide without the Holy Ghost, without God's mercy, without someone praying for you. You can get back in sin real easy. They came to, came to a, the man, a Benjaminite that came through the town, and uh, he came, and the guy said, come stay in my house. And then all the uh, men of Benjamin, the homosexuals and Benjamin said, we want that man. Where he at? We, we, we want he said, wait a minute, let me give you my maid. Uh, do with her what you would, but don't, don't do this wicked thing in Israel. And they raped a woman and left her for dead at the doorstep. And he cut her up in seven, 12 pieces, sent it to the 12, and said, this thing should never been happening in Israel. This perversion has gotten so bad, so bad, that men don't want women any longer. 
People laughed at me when I was, was preaching that 15 years ago. I said, there's going to come a day where they don't even want you men. They're going to want the, they gonna, the women. They don't want you men. Ask these women how many men they can find now. Go down to Atlanta. All of them on the down low. You can't find anybody down there. All of them. It's, it's just everywhere. So they're out there raping. And I pray for more men now that have been raped than women. Amen. Don't go to jail. Amen. Don't go to jail. Forget it. Amen. Pull your pants up. You know, handle pants. <laughs> 25. Romans 1, 25. Who changed the truth of the Lord God into a lie. Worship and serve the creature more than creator. Who blessed forever. Amen. For this cause God gave them up to vile afflictions. Vile. Even their women did change their natural use to that which of nature. So women now try to say, I can do better than a man can do. And likewise also man, leaving the natural use of a woman burned. There's that spirit of burning again in their lust Amen. toward one another. Men with men working what is seem unseemly and receiving in themselves recompense for the error that was meat. Amen. Once you, that you get in that trap, the enemy puts that spirit on you and you can't get out of the trap. You just, like a spider, injects you with poison. Verse 28, and even as they did like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them up a reprobate mind to do those things that are not convenient. Spirits of homosexuality, lesbian, transgender, these spirits pushed them. Especially, I saw some uh, transgender, there are a lot of them, because they're so rejected, they're pushed into prostitution. They're pushed into cross-dressing. They're pushed by these spirits. Nymphomania. They're pushed into that because of these demons of burning and lust. God releases them to that. He turns them over to that because that is not in heaven. You've got to receive Jesus as Lord. Galatians 5, 16 18. Can't cast this out. This I say then. Walk in the spirit. And you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Get into that strong tower and stay there. Get under God and stay there. Hide in God. Amen. Hide out. For the flesh lusts against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary one to another so that you do not the things that you would. I want to do right, Paul said, but the thing that is in me makes me do wrong. I, I, I'm trying. What wretched man am I? What, what am I going to do? But if you be led by the Spirit, you're not under the law. The law says this. This, this is okay. You can fornicate. You can, you, can, you can have sex with somebody at 15, 16. You open it up the door. The law gives you these. The law says you can smoke where marijuana. Paul said all things are lawful, but they're not expedient. I ain't supposed to be doing all this stuff just because the law says that's man's law. The law can be switched back and changed around. We're going to decree and declare that they're going to change the law. We, do, we declare, I declare and decree that what you're doing, your sexual sins you're doing is still nasty. N-A-S-T-Y. They didn't take it out the dictionary. It's still there. What you're doing is nasty. Let God clean you up. Amen. Let God clean you up. People don't want to hear that. My generation, they call it, you nasty. You doing the nasty. <laughs> Hallelujah. Verse 19 to Galatians 5. And now the works of the flesh are manifest. They're manifested. Which are adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, breaking every law you can, idolatry, witchcraft. Witchcraft is a whole nother door that they sit in with these lust spirits. Hatred, various emulations, wrath, strikes, seditions, heresies, envies, murders, drunkenness, revelings of such a light, and of which I tell you before, as I've also told you time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Didn't say you weren't going to heaven. It says you're not going to inherit the kingdom. What is the kingdom? Righteousness, peace, joy in the Holy Ghost. All the things that you should have equipped for in this life, in this earth realm of the kingdom, God gives to you. He said, but if you're in this stuff, you're not going to have that peace all the days of your life. You're going to spend 70 years on earth miserable. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. So these spirits of lust, they come off the, 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 the uh, fear tree. Remember I talked about the scripture says, your mama was a Hittite. And your daddy was an Amorite. 
He told him. He said, your mama was Hittite means fear. Your daddy was Amorite. It's lust. Amorites came from Amnon. It came from Lot having sex or incest with his daughters. Moab and Amnon, Am Amor, Amor, Amoram, came from Lot's daughters. They, they began in it. So you need to break. <clears throat> We're going to break the spirits of lust this morning and get you free. Those that are watching around the world, we're gonna, I'm going to pray. I'm going to ask God to break the bands of wickedness over your life. Here, let me get my uh, book just for a second. Whatever I did with it. Here it is. Hallelujah. We're going to say this prayer out loud. See if we can break this spirit off of lust. Okay. It's called, uh, also those that are watching, I've got a video on, already on YouTube. Go to there. It's called Mass Deliverance, where I go through all the prayers. You can say the prayers out loud. And I call out spirits. I can't come to Pakistan. I can't come to certain places. they got everything. The world shut down. But I've got it on there where you can get free. There is no distance in the spirit realm. God promised me that when I pray that he would deliver people and set them free. That's my anointing. That's my promise from God. And so he's been faithful to deliver people from sickness and disease and immorality and all this kind of crazy stuff in the name of Jesus. So, oh, this is not my message. Prayer of, well, let's do this one. Prayer of surrender to Jesus. How about that? All you got to do is repeat this prayer after me, and <clears throat> then we're going to call out these spirits in Jesus' name. Repeat after me, say, I come to you, Lord Jesus, as my deliverer. You know all my problems. You know all the things that drive, torment, defile, and harass me. I now loose myself from every dark spirit, from every influence, from all satanic bondage, from every spirit in me that is not the spirit of God. I command all such spirits to leave me now in Jesus Christ, Jesus' name. I confess that my body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Redeemed, cleansed, and sanctified by the blood of Jesus. Therefore, <clears throat> Satan has no more place in me, no more power over me, because of the blood of Jesus. Amen. Now, I'm going to pray. You don't need to pray. I want you to learn how to receive. Sometimes we Christians, we get so religious. Oh, stop all that. Just receive. I'm sending the word. You get free. Leave your breathing passages open. Don't say Jesus, 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 because when you say Jesus in your voice box, it blocks demons from leaving out of your throat. Demons leave out of your nose. Your nose start running, they leave out of your eyes. Lust spirits, wandering eyes, lust spirits, leave out of your eyes. Pornography, leave out of your eyes. Um, lust spirits are located in the stomach, in the organs, in the, in, 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 you feel stuff moving around your stomach. Those are lust spirits in the heart. Witchcraft operates in that. You just breathe and exhale. Let it out. Expello. Cast out. Push out. Release yourself. And you can do this in your own home and in your own time. If you have faith, just say, Holy Spirit, I expect, I believe, deliver me. Give me deliverance. I command these to, I send angels to remove from my soul every image, every pornography image, every thing that is not of God. Angels go in and take those layers, pictures out of my soul. Remove these pictures out of me. But just like when you get married, your wife or your husband expects you to get rid of all your old boyfriend pictures and stuff. You throw that stuff out. And so we send the angels and they put all your old pictures out, all that old images out, all that old kinky stuff you used to do. Amen. So you, when you get to heaven, ain't anybody going to see it. <laughs> you know you was kinky. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. So I'm going to deal with these strong men. There are a lot of strong men, so I'm going to call these spirits out. You just receive it in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I take authority now. I bind any transfer of spirits. You demons will go where the Holy Spirit sends you. You'll go to dry places. You'll go back to the pit, wherever the Holy Ghost sends you. We command you to go. We take authority over you. We lose the host of heaven, the army of God. Even in this room right now, even in the, in the atmosphere and over this earth right now, 
And we bind the spirit of Osmodeus, the prince of lust. We bind you with chains and cords. The Bible says, how can you spoil a strong man's house? We should first bind him. And so we bind the spirit of Osmodeus. We bind the strong man of Rosemary, who's over su supernatural sexual desires. We bind Rosari, who causes people not to marry. We bind that strong man. We bind Diana. We bind the stronghold of Venus, false love. We bind Osmodeus, the prince of destruction that works with lust. We bind Hecate, Hecate, female witchcraft of lust. We bind these strong men in Jesus' name. We bind the spirit of Ashtoreth over drugs, uh, uh, Andronata, fear of men, Tomatha, sexual impurity. We bind these spirits that cause all these different uh, uh, manifestations. Now, Father, we take authority now over the spirit of fantasy lust. We command you to go in Jesus' name. We command self-hate to go, self-rejection, leave in Jesus' name. We command every spirit in the eyes, lust of the eyes, to go in the name of Jesus. We bind nymphomania. Get out of female organs now in Jesus' name. Whoredom, adultery, and fornication. Come out in Jesus' name. We put you in slippery places, and we command you to come up and out. Alcoholism, drug abuse spirits. Come out in Jesus' name. Exhibitionism, peeping Tom spirits. Fetishes, we command to be broken in Jesus' name. Sexual dysfunction, we bind that in Jesus' name. We command you to go. Uh, uh, soul ties with multiple partners we command in the name of Jesus you need to break those soul ties call those persons name out and break that relationship in Jesus name we command their spirit of perversion to go we command homosexual spirits lesbian spirits bestiality and incest spirits get out in Jesus name we command you to go pedophilia get out go in the name of Jesus psychopathic go sociopath go female problems stds get out in jesus name come out of the organs in the name of jesus we command the spirit of burning in female organs and male organs to go uh, masturbation to go we command sex toys with all them sex toys you got hidden in your drawer you need to get rid of them in the name of jesus we clean it out the pornography under your bed get it out in the name of jesus voyeurism transfer of spirits of lust prostitution, spirit of the whore, go in Jesus' name. We command you to get out now. Every spirit of the Lamorite, go. Father, we bind these strong men of, of Savello in the name of Jesus over homosexual and lesbian people. Savello, you are bound in Jesus' name. Flirtation. We kind of, flirtation and, dis, and, and seduction, the strong man name is Tyus. We bind Tyus in the name of Jesus. Impotency. We bind Dilmon, Frigidy, Orpheus, Blocks emotions and desires. We bind the strong men of Orpheus. Organda or Goromando. Schizophrenia and fantasy lust. We bind you spirits. Come out of the people in Jesus' name. Bestiality, incest. We bind the strong man of Moab. The Amorite spirit. We curse it in Jesus' name. Bisimo. Bisimo and Bisimo. Pornography, strong men. We bind you. Command out of, we command the filth of the mind and sexual filth of the mind. We ask the Holy Ghost to go in and clean out the minds of men, clean out the minds of women in Jesus' name. Prostitution, Borichon, Bimus, the spirits that cause daytime erection in men. We command you to go in Jesus' name. We command you to go in Jesus' name. We command spirits of rape and burning. We bind you in Jesus' name. Eldana. Sexual attacks on humans, the spirit of succubi and incubus, you spirits that come from witches, you spirits that are sent by witches, succubus and incubus, they have sex with humans in their sleep. We bind these spirits in the name of Jesus and we command you to leave in Jesus' name. Emilius, sexual torture, we come against that voyeurism and, and sexual torture, the spirit of, uh, of sexual violence under Babel that brings confusion, we bind it in Jesus' name. Get out. Father, in the name of Jesus, we take authority of Belial, that spirit of sacrifice of abortion, lying, seduction. We bind the Belial that attacks female organs uh, that have female problems, those that have had abortions that now have female problems and all kind of issues in the organs now because of that abortion. We bind that spirit that causes the distress. We bind Prello, Eldemo, that, that female irritation, itching and burning uh, uh, that always happens in females. We command it to go in Jesus' name. We bind Eldemo, the spirit that speaks in the ear and, and, and voices. We curse it in Jesus' name. We break, the, we break the power of barrenness in women in the name of Jesus that got involved in fornication, that got involved in sexual sin, that have blocked their ovaries. The enemy has blocked your ovaries. We command healing of those ovaries now in Jesus' name. 
We command healing of men, uh, the testosterone, healing of their eggs, of their sperm, uh, where the enemy has attacked their testicles. We curse it in the name of Jesus. Father, those that have been trying to have children, we break the bands of wickedness off of their lives. We pray for divine healing, divine intervention now. Father, by the stripes of Jesus, let them be completely healed. Let these demons be bound up even around the world in South Africa and Pakistan and in India, all over in Uganda and Nigeria. We pray for you now in the name of Jesus in England and London. We pray for you now in Jesus' name. Be free, be free, be free. In South America, we pray that you will be free from these lustful spirits in the name of Jesus, who the Son met, makes free, is free indeed in Jesus' name. And everybody say it. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Well, God bless you. Our cash app is Proverbs 92. If you want to give those online, hallelujah, we receive your offering. We pray for those that are shut in. And I know a lot of our members, some of our members are at home right now. Christina, we know that she had to stay home because of somebody got sick on the job and had to quarantine them for a week or so. So she's, she's out. But God is God. God bless you. Tuesday here. We'll be here Tuesday night. Amen? Amen. Praise God. Let me get that camera. Would you get that? Check that.